Pat Riley tells Jimmy Butler to shut the fuck up next on Stay Wavy TV. You know, for him to say that, you know, I thought, is that Jimmy trolling or is that Jimmy serious? You know, if you're not on the court playing against Boston or on the court playing against the New York Knicks, you should keep your mouth shut and your criticism of those teams. You know, for him to say that they do it's your boy wavy stay wavy tv back at y'all with another one let's get it man so pat riley man the nba's mob boss man um he checked his superstar player jimmy buckets man jimmy butler for those that don't know um jimmy butler basically said on twitter that if he was playing and he wasn't injured that the knicks and the celtics would not be in the playoffs right now he's basically saying that he would be taking the Miami Heat to their third trip to the NBA Finals. They was in the NBA Finals last year, and they were in the NBA Finals, um, I believe it was 2020 against the Los Angeles Lakers when they lost. Um, so yeah, man, Jimmy Butler, uh, he knows how to put the team on his back. He's very familiar with getting to the NBA Finals. He's Unfortunately, he's just never got the job done, and it's not his fault. I blame injuries. And also, I blame the Miami Heat for just not prioritizing getting stars and all-stars on their team. If you guys pay attention, ever since LeBron left the Miami Heat, they have not prioritized um, getting a superstar or an all-star, which is pretty weird to me. Um, they got Jimmy Butler, but they failed to accompany Jimmy Butler with somebody that could really, really, really make a difference, man. Like, they got to... Like, bro, the Miami Heat, they're known for, like, getting undrafted players that, honestly, nobody would really take a chance on to bring into the National Basketball Association. But, you know, they take dudes that's undrafted and they turn them into... I wouldn't say stars, but they turn them into, you know, uh, role players. You know what I'm saying? Like, Udonis Haslam. Udonis Haslam was undrafted. And he turned out to have a very long, successful NBA career, and he won uh, two championships. So, shout out to uh, Udonis Haslam. But uh, a lot of people are talking about this statement by Pat Riley, and a lot of people think that Jimmy Butler is going to request a trade, and they think that Pat Riley was out of line. Um, I don't think this is a big deal. Um, Jimmy Butler doesn't come off as somebody that's sensitive. Um, at the end of the day. Pat Riley, you know, if you ask him his opinion on something, he's going to tell you. Pat Riley is a very straightforward uh, person. He, he doesn't joke around. He doesn't troll. He's all about business, man, and he's all about being a professional. And when you're a part of the Miami Heat, their culture is professionalism, you know? They, they're not with the antics and, the, and, the, and, the, and the, this pussy shit that's going on nowadays when it comes to sports. And, um... I'm happy he did this, honestly, because, you know, he's right. At the end of the day, Jimmy Butler is injured, and there's no need for him to tell people that if he was playing, this team and that team wouldn't be in the playoffs. But at the end of the day, you're not playing. So shut the fuck up. I'm with Pat Riley on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, um, I don't think Jimmy Butler is going to be sensitive about this and just leave. I think if he leaves, then he is just going to make him look soft. And like I said, Jimmy Butler, to me, is one of the toughest players in the NBA. He doesn't come across as soft at all to me. So, um, yeah, I think people are taking this a little bit too serious. Unfortunately, we live in a very sensitive country in America. So people like to take things and blow it out of proportion and make it something that's not. But um, Jimmy Butler's not going anywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not going anywhere. This is his team. He's the number one player on the team. And, uh, you know, this is, a, this is a big reason why Pat Riley stopped coaching because when Pat Riley was a coach, especially for the Miami Heat, um, he had a reputation for being too serious. You understand what I'm saying? And, and a lot of players didn't like him. A lot of players didn't like being coached by him. And he was aware of that. So he decided to take a step back and just be the president of the Miami Heat and just basically just you know, be the person that overlooks everything. He's in charge of the trades and all of that. Um, but this this is who Pat Riley's always been. This is nothing new. And I promise you guys, anybody that's a member of the Miami Heat, 
besides Jimmy Butler, they're aware of this, man. So people on the outside that don't really know Pat Riley like that, that's, see, I'm from, I'm born in Miami. I'm from South Florida. So I'm very familiar with Pat Riley's reputation and his personality because I, I've been, you know, watching basketball damn near my whole life. So to the people that don't really know too much about the Miami Heat culture and Pat Riley, I totally understand why y'all are taking this sensitive and y'all are like, oh, Jimmy's going to leave. He ain't going nowhere, man. It's not a big deal, bro. He ain't going nowhere. So with that being said, man, it's your boy Wavy. Let me know what you guys think. Come on.